Thank you for joining me for another Lead in the Moment conversation. Interruptions are so incredibly negative and destructive because you can't really pick up from exactly where you were before when the interruption is over. It requires you to almost begin again in some way. Now, disruptions are much bigger than interruptions. A disruption is when you cannot continue with what you were doing before. It stops the process and disenables your ability to continue it. A disruption can last for a few seconds, can last for a couple of hours, or it can last for weeks and months or even years. And when a disruption occurs, it provides us with a positive opportunity. A disruption allows us to reset. It allows us to rethink what we're doing. It allows us to come at situations from a completely different angle. And the disruption that we're experiencing at the moment is probably going to mean that when life returns to normal, whatever normal will look like, it won't be normal in terms of what we knew normal to be. Many things will be different. Of course, there'll be things that will be just the same and we'll slip back into them immediately. But there's some things that are going to be different. And it's important that we spend this time during the disruption to already begin to think about how we will reset our lives, both as individuals, as leaders of people, and as business people. How are we going to interact with people differently from the way we used to? Because their needs are going to be different and their expectations of us are going to be different, at least in the short and medium term after this period has, has come to an end. But more than that, in terms of our clients' and customers' needs, their needs are also going to be somewhat different. So as we question whether we're offering the right solutions for what their needs will be, not what their needs have been, we have an opportunity to rethink what we're doing in a most profound way. Sometimes the result of these rethinks will just be incremental changes in what we're doing, just recalibration and refining. And sometimes we might be able to innovate completely new solutions and new ideas in the way we interact and connect with people. What's important is to work in teams. What is important is to share ideas. What is important is to cross silos and disciplines, to begin to find new solutions that are cross-disciplinary and that are not developed in a very narrow framework and from the perspective of a narrow focus. If we're able to do that, not only will we find some pleasure and excitement and exhilaration in that process itself, but we'll also prepare ourselves to even be better at what we do than we were before this crisis.